So the semi-final lineup, as you know, is well set for the Champions League. It will be PSG against Manchester City, Real Madrid, Chelsea. We thought, as normal, now that we know the lineup, we talk about who you thought was going to go through. Everyone thought the same teams. Everyone thinks City will go through and meet Real Madrid in the final. So we thought we'd put a little twist on it. Let's take a look at PSG against Manchester City. Let's line up all of their players along the wall. Uh huh. We're playing a pickup game. Okay. Who are you picking first? I am picking, controversially perhaps. Neymar. And I'm not picking for the next 10 years. This game. I'm picking for now, for this moment, right here, right now, the guy who I think is the difference maker. The guy who I think individually can destroy the dreams of Manchester City. Neymar's talent is so incredibly superior to most of the players that he plays against. So the very best version of Neymar is just a step below Messi and Ronaldo. And the only reason that keeps him below Messi and Ronaldo is himself. But if I can get the very best of him for one moment, for one game, in my pickup game, ideally, I'm picking up Neymar. Do you agree, Don? I do. I'm a massive Neymar fan. I know he has his troubles, uh, and I know he's flawed. Um, but when you look at natural talent, he's only behind Messi. You know, his feet are incredible. He's got incredible arrogance. He can go past players for fun. Um, when he turns it on, he can easily be one of the best players in Europe without a shadow of a doubt. He's just inconsistent. Um, but like Ali said, if you're, if you're hand-picking a player and the very best version of him turns up, there's only Messi that's better than him. And I just, I love watching him play, Dan. I think he's an absolute genius. I think he's, he's gold dust. Shaka. Um, as much as it, it pains me to agree with both Ali and Don, I'm going to go Neymar as well. Wow. And, and to, to that point, I think too often you've seen Neymar kind of just more focused on showboating and, and, and being a liability. But though he has, before last season, you've not seen anything of him in the latter stages of the Champions League for PSG. Last season, and now this time around, in this late stage of the competition, I think you've seen the best of him in a PSG shoot. So if we're picking right now, yep. quarterfinal stages of the Champions League, I'm going to go Neymar as well. Four out of four, Gab? It's very close. I might decide to go against the green and, and pick Kylian Mbappe uh, simply because I think he has a way of stepping up uh, in certain games. But uh, like, it's going to be one of those two if you're talking about the, ex the outstanding individual. You take a look at Manchester City's then upcoming schedule with regards to how packed it is, how important it is. Remember, this is a side who are still looking to win the quadruple. Uh, they got Chelsea in the FA Cup this weekend. Uh, the Premier League, you imagine you'll see him as he has been doing wrestling some players. It's then the, the League Cup against Spurs, followed by that, the first leg against PSG. And then a week later, that second leg against PSG. Uh, if you take a look at how the bookies have things set with regards to Champions League, they are uh, five to four favourites. PSG coming in second round, Madrid uh, then at four to one. Chelsea nine to two. Uh, everybody's predictions, as I mentioned, uh, we'll see Manchester City win. Uh, the runner-up being Real Madrid. Don, is there not a concern that City could burn out? There's always that concern, and as, as Pep always says, you know, to, to win major trophies, especially the Champions League, it's the fine detail. And I think you got quoted saying today, you could play a lot of games across a lot of tournaments, and you have one moment of genius, say, from Kylian Mbappe or, or Neymar, and then all of a sudden you don't win the Champions League, and Man City are, are hailed as failures. I think it's very, very harsh on the brand of football and the style that they play. But to try and win all four is going to be difficult, but when you're in City's position now, and when you look at what Pep's doing right across the board, especially in the Premier League, because that is sewn up, he can rest five, six, seven players at any given time and try and prioritise games. I don't think he's ever really done that. He's always tried to play his strongest teams over the years. I think this is the golden chance for him to try and prioritise um, the Premier League, especially because it's done for the other competitions, especially the Champions League. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.